Gutta Percha, Wikipedia Audio Gutta Percha refers to trees of the genus Palaquium and the rigid natural latex produced from the sap of these trees, particularly from Palaquium gutta. The word Gutta Percha comes from the plant's name in Malay, Geta Perksa, which translates as Percha latex. Scientifically classified in 1843, it was found to be a useful natural thermoplastic. In 1851, 30,000 long CWT of gutta percha was imported into Britain. History During the second half of the 19th century, gutta percha was used for myriad domestic and industrial purposes and it became a household word. In particular, it was needed as insulation for underwater telegraph cables, which, according to author John Tully, led to unsustainable harvesting and a collapse of the supply. According to Harvey Wicks Felter and John Uri Lloyd's Endodontology, even long before gutta percha was introduced into the Western world, it was used in a less processed form by the natives of the Malaysian archipelago for making knife handles, walking sticks, and other purposes. The first European to discover this material was John Tradescant, who collected it in the Far East in 1656. He named this material Mazer Wood. Dr. William Montgomery, a medical officer in Indian service, introduced gutta percha into practical use in the West. He was the first to appreciate the potential of this material in medicine, and he was awarded the gold medal by the Royal Society of Arts, London in 1843. Palaquium gutta trees are 530 m tall and up to 1 m in trunk diameter. The leaves are evergreen, alternate, or spirally arranged, simple, Entire, 825 cm long, glossy green above, and often yellow or glaucous below. The flowers are produced in small clusters along the stems, each flower with a white corolla with 4 to 7 acute lobes. The fruit is an ovoid 3 to 7 cm berry, containing 1 to 4 seeds. In many species, the fruit is edible. In Australia, Gutta percha is a common name specifically used for the euphorbiaceous tree Excoecaria parvifolia, which yields an aromatic, heavy, dark brown timber. Chemically, gutta percha is a polyterpene, a polymer of isoprene, or polyisoprene, specifically. The cis structure of polyisoprene is the common latex elastomer. While latex rubbers are amorphous in molecular structure, gutta percha crystallizes, leading to a more rigid material. The same bioinertness that made it suitable for marine cables also means it does not readily react within the human body. It is used in a variety of surgical devices and during root canal therapy. It is the predominant material used to obturate or fill the empty space inside the root of a tooth after it has undergone endodontic therapy. Its physical and chemical properties, including but not limited to its inertness and biocompatibility, melting point, ductility, and malleability, make it important in endodontics, e.g. as gutta percha points. Gutta percha allows more bacterial leakage with endodontic surgery as compared to resilin. Gutta percha latex is biologically inert, resilient, and is a good electrical insulator with a high dielectric strength. The wood of many species is also valuable. Western inventors discovered the properties of gutta percha latex in 1842, although the people of its Malayan habitat had used it for many applications for centuries. Allowing this fluid to evaporate and coagulate in the sun produced a latex which could be made flexible again with hot water, but which did not become brittle, unlike rubber prior to the discovery of vulcanization.
By 1845, telegraph wires insulated with gutta percha were being manufactured in the UK. It served as the insulating material for early undersea telegraph cables, including the first transatlantic telegraph cable. Gutta percha was particularly suitable for this, as it was not attacked by marine plants or animals, which had disabled previous undersea cables. The material was a major constituent of Chatterton's compound used as an insulating sealant for telegraph and other electrical cables. Taxonomy Since about 1930, polyethylene has supplanted gutta percha as an electrical insulator. In the mid-19th century, gutta percha was also used to make furniture, notably by the Gutta Percha Company. Several of these ornate, revival-style pieces were shown at the 1851 Great Exhibition in Hyde Park, London. When hot it could be molded into furniture, decorations, or utensils. It was also used to make morning jewelry, because it was dark in color and could be easily molded into beads or other shapes. Pistol hand grips and rifle shoulder pads were also made from gutta percha, since it was hard and durable, though it fell into disuse when plastics such as bakelite became available. Gutta percha found use in canes and walking sticks, as well. The material was adopted for other applications. The gutta golf ball revolutionized the game. Gutta percha remained an industrial staple well into the 20th century, when it was gradually replaced with superior materials, though a similar and cheaper natural material called balata is often used in gutta percha's place. The two materials are almost identical, and balata is often called gutta balata. In 1856, United States Representative Preston Brooks used a cane made of gutta percha as a weapon in his attack on Senator Charles Sumner. Mysterious blocks, about the size of a chopping board, bearing the name Tiha Petir, have been washing up on the beaches of northern Europe for some time through 2013 and 2014. They are believed to be blocks of gutta percha from the Japanese liner the Miyazaki Maru, which sank 150 miles west of the Isles of Scilly during WWI. Chemistry Current Uses Dentistry Historical Uses Electrical Other Tihapitir Blocks